Okay, hello everyone. This is Professor Icepick coming back for 2022 with my first stream of the year. Well, my first real stream anyway. I mean, I guess the dice roll doesn't really count. Anyway, welcome to... I'm not a state. I'm a monster. <clears throat> yep, tonight I'm going to be starting Michigan Report from Hell. Interesting little game from uh, one of my favorite developers, uh, Grasshopper Manufacturer, that only came out in Japan and Europe, unbeknownst to the um, to the developer, believe it or not. So, I'm not going to lie, this is going to be kind of janky at times, but we're just going to have to deal with it. So, uh, here we go. Yeah, you know how I said it was going to be janky? <laughs> yeah, that's one. No, let's pretend it's part of the horror theming of it. Okay, English, obviously. And, of course, NTSC. Because unlike all other Europeans, or unlike all Europeans, I can count to 60. But they can't. Spike. 505 Game Street. There's the Grasshopper Manufacturer logo. Presented in Dolby. Moral or immoral. Chicago. I couldn't read that one. Scoop. Mist. Eroticism. <laughs> Eroticism. Story changes depending on your morality. Immoral. Report. Camera. <laughs> Michigan, report from hell. Yep. Okay, let's take a look at the configuration then. Okay, camera controls reverse, vibration on, sound stereo. Okay, good. I got a little bit of music here, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna check the audio on my end. I'm honestly shocked that Twitch had a listing for this game. Honestly shocked that Twitch had a listing for this game. Honestly shocked. <laughs> God, that that echo is just gonna go on forever, isn't it? Yeah, okay, this is fine. All right. Uh, okay, well, um, oh, hey, we got a couple of viewers. That's kind of surprising. 
Who do we got? Make yourselves known. <sighs> ah, well, fair enough. Okay, uh, before I get started, I just want to check out one last little thing. I've heard that this game actually does on occasion freeze up. So I just want to make sure that I know how to make save states. Just because I don't want to, like, you know, get fucked, basically. Basic controls. Left analog stick, move cameraman. Right analog stick, change camera direction. L2 button, ram. Hold down for a powerful shove. X button. Focus on the object in view. Yo! So you're the new cameraman, huh? I hear you're a rookie. The name's Briscoe. I'm the sound guy. Nice to meet you. That's Pamela. You've seen her before, haven't you? Oh wow, I'm actually She's in control. She's like a TV star reporter after all. Hey, you're pretty lucky to be teamed up with Pamela right off the bat. But don't go getting any funny ideas about her, you hear me? Of course, Pamela probably wouldn't give you the time of day anyway. Man, what could the agency be thinking? I mean, sending a newbie like this guy out to get scoops? Huh? Oops, you hear that? Oh well, don't let it bother you. Now then. I'll be teaching you everything you need to know about TV news coverage. Listen up, and do exactly as I say. Move near Briscoe. Okay. Of course, a cameraman's number one job is to be able to shoot things properly. Doesn't get any more basic than that. You know what to do, right? Okay, first off, try shooting that box there. It's just an ordinary box. Go back to Briscoe. Fine. You should be able to do at least that much if you got <coughs> yourself a cameraman. Number two, you gotta have an eye for scoops. Can't just let them pass you by. Just pointing the camera at things will never get you a scoop, you know? If you want a scoop, you gotta get out there and make one. And you can't just stand there like a stick. You gotta move around. Up high. Down low. Too you slow. You gotta shoot the subject from every angle. Reporters act of their own free will. Your job as a cameraman is to follow the movements of the reporter. Is that a timer up there? Did you find anything? Okay, next topic. Ramming is a technique you can use in a pinch. A cameraman can only use his body, you see. He can't take his hands off the camera. Okay, try ramming into me right now. Not too hard though, you hear? You, you ready? Okay. Go ahead and try it. But take it easy. We're just practicing here, remember? Okay. Go. Easy now. I guess you got the hang of it. Let's 
So you're the new guy, huh? I'm Pamela. Pamela Martell. Nice to meet you. Okay, Briscoe. I'm borrowing the new guy until we start shooting. Okay, fine. But there isn't a whole lot of time, you know. Don't be late for the take. It can be tough out here on location. We've got to work as a team, okay? Don't mind Briscoe. He's always like that. He's a really dependable guy, though. He'll be a big help to us both. Oh, one more thing. As a cameraman, getting scoops is important. But it's not the only thing, in my opinion. For example, if somebody right in front of you needs help, or if there's some kind of emergency, I think you should stop shooting and help them. Of course, that's just my own personal... Shooting decisions. In some of the movie scenes, it is possible to step to... I was just about to trip over that board. Thank you. Wait, what? So that's the way you work, is it? I can tell we're going to get along just fine. What the hell was that? But if you hadn't warned me about that board, well, you might have gotten a little scoop on me. Well, I guess we'd better head back to the news van. Uh... Zaka, TV Team Log. Eight twenty, four seventeen a.m. An unusually dense fog covers the southwestern area of Lake Michigan, centering on Chicago. The federal government has advised evacuation of cities in the area, including Chicago. Yeah, this game actually takes place in Chicago, not Michigan. There's no official word yet on the fog's cause. 8.20, 3.15 p.m. News reporter, Pamela Martell. Sound engineer, Jean-Philippe Briscoe. Chicago began shooting with the above team. Oh, is this my journal, I guess? Okay, wake up. Time for a scoop. Get up! Are you ready? Got your tapes? Battery okay? All right. Pamela is standing by outside. Make her look good now. And leave the sound to me. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Let's get it right, okay? Three, two, one. Oh, hey, good Derek. evening, everyone. This is Pamela Martell. We report tonight on a strange phenomena. An unusually thick fog, the cause of which is still unknown, has cropped up in the southwestern area of Lake Michigan, centering on Chicago. The entire city is covered. <gasps> Someone screamed! Let's go! Are you alright? What happened to you? talking about what happened it came through the <laughs> oh my god help me help me help me please what are you doing <laughs> run get away from her <laughs> Behind you! I'm joining up with some other team. Ah! What? Just keep quiet. Behind you! 
There's a m m m stop thinking you can order me Monster! around. Huh? Oh shit. Um, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that sure was. <laughs> that wasn't in-game action, Dar. That was a cutscene. <laughs> Just wait until you see the in-game action. This, this is incredible. Zaka, TV team log. 823. 7.45 a.m. Received information on a possible survivor in the Chicago International Hotel downtown. 8.23, 10.23 a.m. Arrived at the at International Hotel. Filling in for Pamela Martell. News reporter Ann Anderson. Sound engineer Jean-Philippe. Wait, where did we get another reporter from? Searched hotel but didn't find any survivors. All we found was evidence that some gruesome incident had occurred. Okay, am I in control now or... Nope. Okay, now I'm in control. Okay. Like how it's just like ticking down. I guess like I'm eventually going to run out of tape or something. Wait. Find anybody in that room? Nobody in this room either. What a bloody mess, huh? What a bloody All mess, right. huh? Let's give up here. There isn't anybody left in the whole hotel. Looks like it was just a false lead. Frisco went downstairs a long time ago. And anyway, the other teams are getting the jump on us. We don't have time to waste hanging around here. We've got to get out there and find something. Huh? Uh, the telephone. Could it be Briscoe? The fuck is the phone? Hey, okay, where did she go? Um, replacement reporter lady? Where'd you go? Oh, there you go. No, no. I'm not your mother. I can't hear you very well. Wait! Don't hang up! Where are you? <laughs> The observation deck of the center building? Is there anybody else there with you? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, I've got it. Just stay right where you are, okay? We're coming to rescue you. You hear me? Don't give up. We're coming, I promise. <coughs> Do you understand? She hung up. There's a survivor in the center building. Let's go. Maybe we can get some leads on what's going on. Oh yeah, just as a but heads more up. Importantly, oh. Somebody's in trouble. Just as a heads up. Should be downstairs. Let's hurry. Let the reporter take care of doors. What? Okay. Uh, <laughs> focus the blood. Hmm. 
Okay, lady, you can take care of the door now. Oh, I had to click. Okay, fair enough. X button go through. Triangle button go back. Okay, fine, we'll go through. What a guy, that Frisco. As soon as he knows he won't be needed, he takes off. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, more blood stains. <laughs> now, but seriously, this game was apparently not even tested on this emulator all that well. They they know that there's one big. There's one big glitch that comes up. That's why I may need to resort to save states at one point. But, um, aside from that. Oh, good. The elevators are still working. <laughs> I like how it just defaults down to her butt. Like, like, look, I wasn't even looking on, at her butt or anything. Down. Okay. Get in. I did. <laughs> oh. Scoop indicator at the top of the screen shows what kind of scoops you have been focusing on. E on the left indicates erotic points. S on the right indicates suspense points. That was cool. Ugh. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> wait, why can't I move? Let me... Hmm? Who's playing the piano? Wow, this is a mad good cover of the basement theme from Resident Evil Director's Cut Dual Shock version. Briscoe, what are you doing? You're supposed to be working. Briscoe? Oh, yeah. Damn. Damn. I can't play this song. No. No. There's no you. That, okay. Oh yeah, you did. I still can't believe it. Did it really happen? Yes, it did. And it was I all your fault. To die with that. What am I gonna tell her parents? Frisco? Okay. I know. I'll tell him. Pamela was a fine reporter and a brave one. She threw herself into her work. Yeah. Pamela was pretty brave, wasn't she? I, I loved her. I was crazy about Pamela. Why is she up to... Damn it! Didn't even get a chance to say goodbye. <laughs> this is great. Risco, I understand how you feel. Remember, Pamela and I started together. We were always friendly rivals. Look, I wish it didn't happen either. But, you know... Danger is what this job's all about. After all, Pamela knew the danger she faced. And I won't let Pamela die in vain. That's why. That's why we've got to keep going for her. Let's go out there and capture the truth. Briscoe, come on. We can't do it without you. We can't? She... Yeah. 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 I guess you're right. Okay. Oh man. I gotta, I gotta 
sober up. Thank you, friends. All right, sure. Where the hell did you go? Oh, there you are. Imagination. Wait, what? <coughs> there isn't anybody here. Oh wait, here's some water, I think. Oh wait, there's some water. A huge spotted spider. Wait, what? You've got to ram and to s How what the hell? I'm How did I miss you? Oh. Hey, what are you? There's a spider. Okay, well, let's go get the water and then just get the hell out of here. <laughs> okay, that was great, actually. I, I, I like that. <laughs> okay, that was great. Okay, come on. Let's go get the water. Huh? Is it water? Oh, what the hell? Come on, pick up the water. Oh, it's water. What's the laughing sound doing? Is she bending over? Oh, no, I missed Let's it. Let's get back to Briscoe. Oh, man, I, I missed a choice attempt at a panty chat there. We found some, Briscoe. <coughs> Here, drink up. Great. Thanks. So, Daria, is the fact that the black guy was in love with the blonde white woman... Just... I'm a new man. Okay, back to covering the news. Where to next? That was a quick recovery. Okay, there's a survivor in the center building. Okay, got it. The van's outside. Let's go. Okay. So, like, is the fact that the black guy was in love with a blonde white woman, does that make this a horror game for you, Dari? Is that the <laughs> truly... Whoa. Okay. More monsters! The reporter always has their gun handy, so focus on incoming monsters to get the reporter to fire at them. Smaller monsters can be taken down with the gun. Shit, okay, well, where the fuck? Okay, where are they? Oh, no, that's... Wait. Okay, that is pretty cool, honestly. 
Pinchy! Okay, that that is rad as hell, actually. Okay, are they all? Oh God! I do I have to like literally watch them die? The fuck are these things coming from? Wait. Wait, what the hell? What the hell? Where did What? Oh my god. Oh, what? How the hell did I miss? Where did you come from? Well shit, is that game over then? Um It's okay. I guess I'm I, I... Um Okay, so I guess um Sure, I, I guess I get another new reporter then? Do, do I just get new reporters every time they die? Is he gonna be drunk again? <laughs> I'm not very good at this. <laughs> Zaka TV time log, 823, 4.03pm. We went to center building to look for the survivor and cover the story. But reporter Ann Anderson met with a sudden accident. I'm afraid she's dead. Feeling our own lives were in danger too, we decided to go back to the office to regroup. We're here. Wait, so is it just us then? Man, it sure is quiet. Who the hell are you? Maybe everybody evacuated already? Oh, people. <laughs> Mr. Briscoe, thank goodness. I'm so glad you're okay. Hey! Hey, Bacon. It's Carly! Glad to see you're okay, too. Where is everybody? A few teams are still out covering the news. They told me to get out of the city, though. But I forgot something back here at the office. I came to pick it up just now. I see. Um... Do you think you could wait for me for a minute? Huh? Oh yeah, sure. I mean, this game wasn't even supposed to come out in the West at all, honestly. Where the hell did she go? Where Where do you go? Hold on, wait. I want to save you. Where Where the hell are you? Where do you go? Wait, what the hell was that? Oh, that's. Where the hell did Carly go? the hell the Zaka TV staff yearbook oh look at this picture of you wait I have a picture I you thought it was weird. new wait why and is there a yearbook girl. <laughs> where the hell is Take she a look okay where wait hey there's Pamela's picture she's so beautiful Pamela. Hey, look. No. She's smiling. You know? 
She always looked her best when she was smiling. Pamela. Somehow the slowdown actually makes Pamela. this better. God damn it! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I'll never forget you, Pamela. Oh, seriously, where the hell did she go? <laughs> I'm worried now. Oh, wait, wait, that was some beeping sounds. Where the hell did the beeping sound? Thanks for waiting for me. Oh, thank God, you're alive. Oh, wow. That's awful. Both Pamela and Anne were really dedicated to their work. Stop making me feel bad. <laughs> Are you just going to remind me of every single reporter I killed? Okay, why can't I move? Oh, that's why. Okay, why? Come on, let me move. But, come on, what the hell? Okay, there we go. All There's right. nobody here. Where'd everybody go? Tell me, well, no, here's the thing, though. It's like, every time a reporter dies, you just get sent to a different level, I guess, or something. Okay, I'm going to keep an eye on you. What does the white circle mean? Does that mean she's in danger? Oh god, it does! Get out of the way, you Ouch. dumb bitch! Oh, you're a real jerk! Yeah, I know, but I'm trying to save your ass, you dumb bint. That was like the music that plays whenever someone dies. I think you just get a bad ending no matter what. I think this is like a horror game, so, you know. No sign of anybody here either. Huh, what's that? Huh. Okay. Okay, like, what are we looking for here? Wait, phone. Hey, that's the telephone. Yes, it is. Very good. Wait, don't run. Zaka TV, may I help it's you? It's a Hello. Yes. Why can't I ram you? Uh-huh. Okay, don't worry. Just calm down and speak slowly, okay? <laughs> Me? I'm Carly Reese. Yes, that's right. From the evening news. You do? Why won't you die? Oh, Why won't you die? Yes. Yes. There's definitely an evacuation advisory. I see. You can't get out of bed? Where are you? Okay, I understand. I'll be right over. Who was it? It was an elderly gentleman in a nursing home. I wanted to save the little it girl. It like he's been left behind there. We're gonna go rescue him? Well, of course. No way! I've had enough danger for one day. Thank you very much. But he's been left behind and he's elderly. Let the police or rescue services take care of it. It's not our job. But those services aren't running anymore. That's why he phoned us. 
Well, what else do you suggest? There's an elderly gentleman out there who needs help. We can't just ignore him. You just want a good story, that's all. How rude! Of course not! God damn it. I guess we gotta go. Okay, I just know that something's you gonna. to go? Thank you, Mr. Briscoe. <sighs> but I'm warning you, it's dangerous out there. Wait, we actually survived? Okay, well, I don't know how to get erotic shots, so... <coughs> Zaka, TV team log. 8.23, 4.40pm. We went back to the office to regroup and ran into reporter Carly Reese there. We got a phone call that said an old man had been left behind at, Brody, at the Brody Nursing Home. News reporter Carly Reese. Carly Rice? I don't know how to pronounce that. Sound engineer, Jean-Philippe Briscoe. I like how the sound engineer gets a higher billing than the cameraman. Headed to the nursing home with the above team. Reese. Oh. Like Reese Witherspoon then. All right. So not Rice, but Reese. Okay. Good evening, everybody. This is Carly Reese. Uh, I can't Our protect news you. news team received a telephone call. It seems an old man has been left behind at a nursing home. Here we are now at the Brody Nursing Home. Just about to begin searching the inside of the facility for the elderly gentleman. Is somebody there? Help! Wait, a child? Please help me! Over here! We must save the child! Wait, Over there? wait, why can't I move? Come on, that's not fair. Why aren't you letting me move? What the hell? Justine. Wait, Justine. Carly? And Briscoe, too? What the Came hell? Came to save me? You're, you don't sound like a little girl. what on earth happened? Who did this uh, to you? <laughs> nice. I don't know. I have uh. no idea. I was at the office when somebody suddenly attacked me from behind and knocked me out. When I came to, I was here like this. Please, get me out of these things. I mean, I would, but it's not Look letting me do much. these shackles. Who would do this? Those are shackles? Whoever it was, he must be quite the sadist. Yes, Just I am. hang on. We'll get you free from there. But how do these unlock? Well, we'll just have to look around. There's got to be some way to do it. Okay, Carly, I am sticking with you because I do not trust you. I do not trust you not to die. Okay, so white means I need to tag something. So, oh, wait. Oh. Wait, what's that? Wait, did I tag it then, or? Wait, what the? There's a strange poster on the wall. It shows how to arrange pool. What? Hey, Carly, look at this. Okay, I guess you're not going to look at this. Wait. What the hell was I looking at then?
Oh shit. Oh. Okay, no, she didn't move. Never mind then. So, like, do I look for all the pool balls then, or what exactly? It looks like there aren't even enough balls to play nine ball. Yes, that's odd, isn't it? Let's go look for the missing balls. Okay. Uh. Oh. Where could the other balls be? Wait! No! Carly! Where'd you go? Carly! Oh no, I think I killed her. She's doomed. Oh. Oh, god damn you. Briscoe. We gotta find Carly. Where'd she go? Some kind of note. It's no use. Guns won't work against that thing. Wait. Oh my god, did she just die? I think she just died. Oh. Okay, good. Oh, whew. Oh, I thought you were dead. <laughs> okay, that's great. That's great. Real jerk. Well, I mean, I would if I actually cared, but like this is kind of funny, honestly. All right, so. You're a real jerk. Yeah, I know. And I've lost control again. Oh, hey, a ball. It's the nine ball. Wait. Lady, I got two in my pants, if you're curious. <coughs> oh, I see. So I have to determine whether or not we go in. Wait, where the... How did... Bitch, how you teleport like that? Okay, so there's an option. Let's go in this door. Oh, is it locked? No, oh, it's locked. It's no use. It won't open. Huh? Huh? I bet there's something important in there. I like how this one looks kind of like Jill Valentine. This looks like a funeral home or something. Wait a second, what's that? Oh my god. Oh god. Man. There's another dead body here. I'm at the blonde Did one. Did the monsters come here too, I wonder? <gasps> the poor man. Hey! Look! There's a ball! It's the seven ball! Just two more, huh? I got two in my pants. I got two balls in my pants. <laughs> okay, um... Carly is Argoyle from <laughs> ZX Advent. Shit, I understand that reference. That's the sad thing. Okay, so. Okay, there's got to be something bad in here. Uh, ceilings are fine. Is 
that a bathtub full of blood? Oh, it's a dead body. A bathtub? Huh? That water sure is a nasty color. Nasty color. I wonder color. if there's anything in it. Looks like there's a body. Why in don't it. I try pulling the plug? Oh. It's the one ball. Hey, another ball. It's the one ball. Just one more left to go. I've got two, lady. So, like, I, I, I got a spare. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. I'd be down for this game to get, like, a re-release or a remaster or something, because this is, like, this is weird as hell, and I kind of, I'm, I'm digging it, honestly. Wait, is that a, oh my god, that's a, oh, it's a bouquet. I honestly thought it was, like, a monster. Uh, where did Carly go? Carly, where are you? Oh, oh. Um, okay. There isn't anything special here, is there? I mean, clearly there is. It's clearly a wall. All right, so. All right, um, uh, where did you go, Carly? Um. Hey, look! She dead. Um, I don't like the way that chandelier is swaying. You're not letting me move. Oh, oh god. my goodness. Oh god. If it does fall, it'll crash right onto Justine. Oh my, let's hurry. Okay, uh Well, that was the wrong d door, I guess. Well, I think I killed her. Why do I feel like I just doomed her to something? Like she's gonna get she's gonna get electrocuted. Did you just hear a strange noise? Yes I did. It came from inside the armoire. Ah yes. The, the armoire. The sound came from inside this? Because like I said, there's slowdown. Like and lots of it. The sound came from inside this thing. Mr. Briscoe, there's a room back there. What's a room doing there? Huh? Oh, must be imagining things. Maybe you should check around a l little bit more. I would, but you're not letting me. Uh, did I just kill her, basically? <laughs> I think I might have killed her, somehow. Uh, 
I, I am checking the chair. There's nothing to click on. Oh, wait. The ball! The four ball! We did it! We found all the balls! Although I'm pretty sure Justine's dead because I'm an idiot. Great! That's all of them! <coughs> okay, well, let's go back then. You should look around this room a little more. Why? Oh, wait. It's a toolkit, isn't it? Okay, what's in the toolbox? It looks like a toolbox! <laughs> it would be useless to take it with you. Well, fuck you, too! Um. Um. What the hell? It's a toolbox. This wouldn't be very helpful. Except it totally would be. Okay, well, we clearly already killed her, so let's... I mean, clearly, like, I've heard, like, a billion sounds that imply that she's... Oh, no, she's still alive. Okay, so, um... All right, let me look at this here. Um, okay, so it's one, two, four, nine, eight. Okay, um, okay, so we need to arrange these pool. Oh God, am I gonna be in charge of this? Try putting the balls in the rack. Oh no. Okay, um, all right, so. Yeah, okay, um... Oh good, I saved someone for once! I was worried that I wasn't gonna get it right. Hang on. I'll get you off of it. No, it's a cutscene. Help! <laughs> Probably. Oh, please tell me Justine and Carly didn't die. Okay, they didn't die. Well, okay. All right. Um. I'm all right. I can get up by myself. They just put down the camera. Thank you very much for helping me. Uh huh. But I'm the one that saved you. Uh, no, I'm the one who unshackled her, dumbass. I had to solve the puzzle. Thank goodness you're safe now, Justine. But. But what? We didn't find that elderly gentleman, the one that called us asking for help. I didn't think there was anybody here. I was yelling and yelling, but nobody answered me or came to help. Until you guys showed up, that is. But there should be an old man here somewhere. That's the reason we came, because he called us. Old man? No, I tell you, I didn't see anyone. I don't know anything, not even where this is. Okay. That telephone call. I wonder if it was a trick to lure us here. But why? What good would that do anyone? Look, how should I know? But I guess you're right. I guess we'd better get out of here. Great. I'm all for getting out of here. Justine, you wait here until we make sure it's safe, okay? No, we should all stay together. She is going to die. Mr. Briscoe, let's go look for an escape route. We are literally murdering this poor girl. Okay, um, hmm. Wait, where did you... Okay, so... Oh, he's... 
following me. Okay, so white means that I gotta... Huh. Alright. What did white mean again? It's all right because she's all white. Oh wait, what's up? Oh hey, a key. Hey, look. There's something on the floor. It's a key. No, don't bend down. He'll die. <laughs> I wonder what door it opens. Probably the locked one that we couldn't get. Why are you running like that? Why are you running like that? Why are you running like that? Why did you just run like that? Why are you running away from me? Ah, it opened. Oh, God. Kill it. Shoot it. God, shoot. Ah! Wait, what? No, come on. Let me shoot the fucking light bulb. And I just let her die. Wait, the gasoline, of course. Shoot the gasoline. What the hell? Dead? Okay. Okay, wait. Okay, good. I knocked her out of the way. Wait, did I knock her out of the way? Okay, I did knock her. Shoot the fucking... Thank you! Now shoot the light bulb. There we go! Finally! I saved one! For the first time, I saved one! I'm one for three! Oh god. Okay, so, like, what the hell is that? Um... Huh. The garage door. We can get out through here. Justine! Come on in! Um, Justine's probably hey, dead. I'm coming! All right, let's get out of here. Where do you want to go? I wonder if the others at the office are okay. Are we going back there to the office? There isn't anybody at the office anymore. The chief told everybody to go home. I stayed and saw everybody else off personally. I bet that they're all with the families now and that they've already escaped the city. We ought to escape too. I'm worried about my family. They might still be here <coughs> looking for me. Okay, then let's take Justine home first. Take you her can home? just take me as far as you're going. Are you sure? Yeah, I'll be fine. And by the way, Mr. Briscoe, our other teams that got sent out, the ones that haven't come back to the office yet, they might still be here in the city, don't you think? We'd better find out. Son of a... Are you serious? I know where Kristen's team is anyway. He got word there was a monster in the old Miller family mansion. He took his team over there to cover the story. The Miller Mansion. Mr. Briscoe, we should go there too. God damn it! Yeah, I'm with him. Be this a is a miracle if we get out of Chicago alive! Well, not you and me, but apparently the reporters, it'll be a miracle if they get out alive. And seriously, I don't know how to do the. How do I do the erotic? That's what I'm wondering. Do I have to, like, keep ramming her? Is that it? I just ram into him forever, right? That's how you get erotic? 
Zaka TV team log. 8.23, 6 10 p.m. At the Brody Nursing Home, we found Zaka Good TV reporting. viewers. This is Carly Reese. Chicago seems to have turned into a virtual city of death. Our news team has gotten word that some of our colleagues may have been left behind in this mansion. We're just about to enter the mansion to see what's happened to them. Let's go in now. So, like, would Justine have been our reporter if I hadn't saved Carly? <laughs> or whatever the fuck this one's name. Let's see, this one's Carly, right? Oh, God. Shoot it! Freeze. What? There's a monster right in front oh, my God. I'm literally hitting the button. Shoot it! Why are you running away? Shoot it! I had the right... Okay. It's not moving. I mean, it I is. I bet it would if we got too close. Man. That... Thing looks brutal. We wouldn't stand a chance against it. Maybe we would if you'd let Make me shoot sure it. Sure, you stay back. All right. Oh, okay. So now what? Uh, okay. Yeah. Let's run away. All right. Um. Okay. So we got a choice here. So, what? What is? What are our choices then? Um. Let's see. Here's a piano. Wait, where the hell did you go? Wait. Um, I don't like the sound of... Wait, what's that? Man, look at all the money they throw around. Ugh, what did they put this painting up for? Oh, God. Wait. Where the hell did she go? Where the hell did you go? Carly, so God help me, I am going to kill you. Why is she running away from me like that? She just like warps around. It's fucking aggravating. Looks like the basement. Wait, this is a Wanna basement? Uh, I don't think I will. I get claustrophobic in basements. No, I don't think I will. Okay, but like, why can't I? Like, she just fucking disappears. <laughs> oh, hey, there's clearly something up there. What's that? There's something on top of the armoire. <laughs> and there. It's way too high. We'll never reach it. What? Guess we. What are you talking about? Okay, what? Wait, okay, grab the chair. A newspaper filled with nothing but gossip. Modern mystery. Bigfoot appears? Oh god. Oh god. What? What is that sound effect? Why did... Why did you make that sound effect, game? Okay, so there's clearly... Wait, what the hell is... There was a step ladder. Are you serious? If we use this, we'll be able to see the top of the armoire. Are you serious? I I couldn't see the fucking I couldn't see the fucking step ladder. Okay, do I have to Okay, good. I don't have to tell you to I pick it up. It. It's a key. Okay, good. Maybe it unlocks something here in the house. My god, stop making sound effects like that. You're going to give me a heart attack. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, you can at least let me see objects, can't you? <clears throat> and not have the incredibly fragile person I'm trying to protect. This is like one of those like 16-bit um, puzzle platformers. Where you're, ba you're you're playing as Eek the Cat or Rocco, and you have to protect something that's incredibly fragile. <clears throat> oh my god, do not run. Oh my god, do not run. 
Oh my god, do not run there! Oh. Okay, or that's fine. Okay, that that's alright. Um, okay, let's look around. Oh hey, shotguns. I bet we can open this with that key we just found. It opened! <laughs> shotguns! Let's all take a shotgun! <laughs> Even the cameraman! Let's give the cameraman a shotgun! Okay, or not, I guess. Um, hey, what's this? There's a note here. It says, apparently, Zaka Boy has a girlfriend. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, can we, like, shoot it from a distance, then? Can we save the shotgun for the rest of the game? Okay, what What was that? What do you do? Stop running! Oh my god, just... Shoot it! You yes, you did. Thank god. Right. Oh god. That was awesome! Huh? Damn! Looks hey. like we're out of bullets! Hey, let's go back and grab another shotgun then! Oh well, that monster's in heaven! Why don't we just go back and get more bullets? I mean, hell. Hell. <laughs> I mean Ooh, hell. Phew. That was amazing. Uh hell, Dari. <laughs> okay, um all right. Uh where are we go Okay, so um All right, Carly. I'm going to keep on your ass. Very, very concave. God damn, she got like an innie. Look, look, look at that. She got a Hank Hill ass. Okay, looks like we're on another section or something. Damn, look at look, look at that. She got a Hank Hill ass there. Okay, so is this a? Okay, so this is a. Uh, Choose your own adventure. Let's go this way first. I'm sure it's that I just no killed use. her. Oh, okay. It won't open. It won't open. Why did she just randomly sound like Bemo from Adventure Time for a second there? Okay, um. Oh, hey, there's a note. Just because you don't like the reporter, that doesn't give you license huh? to do terrible things. Wait, what? <coughs> Uh, nothing. Never mind. Wait, I, I, I'm not trying. I like this reporter. I want her to survive, honestly. Hey, what's that? Oh, hey, a bathtub. A bathtub that is filled with water. Um, okay. It's another bathtub. Maybe we'll find something if we pull the plug. Or maybe another monster will just jump out and kill her. No, nothing. No, nothing. Gee, I don't know. It sounds like something happened. Let the reporter take care of doors. Okay, fine. God, game. Okay, um... Okay, um... Wait, what's that? Why can't why can't I not <coughs> I don't know, maybe it opened that alternate door. It's always possible, right? Okay, um This door. It's not locked anymore. Okay, so I was right. So the bathtub opened it up okay. 
All right. It's a newspaper from several weeks ago. Army plans large-scale maneuvers on the shores of Lake Michigan? Okay, so there's uh, some kind of an optional thing here. Wait, what's that? Hey, oh, God. Are you all right? Uh, no, he's dead. Mr. He's Henning! Carly, is that you? Oh, God, he's alive. What are you doing here? Yes, it's me. We came to rescue you. Oh, hang on now, sir. Oh. I. It's too I, late for me. I was a fool. I let my whole team get killed. What kind of director am I, anyway? Oh, Mr. Henning. It wasn't your fault. It's all too strange. What's happening here in Chicago? And what Zaka is doing too? I don't know the details, but Jeff might know something. Lately, My name is Jeff? The chief's been sending Jeff out on special assignments. Jeff went to St. Matthew's Church. It's ten blocks up. Went there to do a story. Oh, and could you do me a favor? Anything. Tell my wife something for me. I'm going someplace far away to do a story. On the afterlife. And I won't be back. Tell her it's my lucky break. Biggest scoop. Of my life. What the fuck? <laughs> Mr. Henning! <laughs> Can we Mr. get the. Mr. Henning! He's already dead. He's Let's already dead. Let's go! <laughs> yeah, I'm with him. Hey, what's this laptop? All right. Come on. Let's go to the church. Okay. Oh, I didn't do anything immoral this time. Weird. <coughs> this is like a very fascinating game. I'm not very good at it, but it's like incredibly fascinating, and I'm glad that I'm playing through it, honestly. Good evening, everyone. This is Carly Reese. I'm afraid I can't seem to find the proper words to describe to you the current state of affairs. We've all lost so many things. Chicago is in a horrible state of tragedy. We're here at St. Matthew's Church, but we've all but given up hope. Maybe if we left. Zaka TV viewers? This may be my last report. Carly Reese signing off. Wait, what? Um, are we, are we committing suicide? Is that what's happening? Look at all these dead bodies. Maybe Jeff's one of them. Mr. Briscoe. There's something moving up there ahead. Wait, there is? Wait, where where are you going? Oh. Jeff! Okay. Jeff! His name is Jeff. Where are you? Oh god, there's it's Jeff. Me. It's Carly. Is that Jeff? Oh wait. Yeah, I think that's Jeff. Dead. What the hell? Oh god. What did I just do? Oh no. Is that Is that Jeff? I guess. Oh god.
Uh, where the hell did she go? Um. Oh. Just trying to kill it the usual way isn't going to work with this monster. But what can I do? Watch out! Above you! Wait, come on, that's not fair. Come on, why? Oh, God. Okay. Where the hell are they? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, why are we just standing here? Where'd the other one go? Oh. Come on, get out of here for crying out loud! Okay, uh, have a good night, K.I. Wait. Oh, God damn it. Is it too late? Oh, God damn it. It was too... Come on, that's not fair. I saw it. Well, shit. Carly's dead. Um... <clears throat> I guess, sure, okay. Not happy about it, but whatever. <laughs> Damn, I was doing so good! Saka TV team log. Well, nice try, Dari, but unfortunately it's a little too late. We started driving to the main headquarters. Pabrisco ended up crashing the van. The van was totaled. We were lucky to be alive. Uh. After walking around aimlessly in the mountains for a while, we came across a deserted campground. Seeking refuge, we headed to the campground's lodge. There's the lodge. So is it just us then? We're tired. 
We'd better rest there a while. Sorry about this. That's all right. That was if my I bad, honestly. Pressed the van. We could have been at headquarters by now. Well, I also killed <laughs> Ticket N, so okay, uh, let's go. Look. Wait, what? Somebody's lying there unconscious. Let's okay. go see. But be careful. Okay. It could be a monster. Come on. I hate that this game, like, randomly takes control away from you. Doesn't right. look like a monster. Is it alive? It's a reporter! <sighs> Justine? Are you two? Uh, no. Zaka TV? What are you doing here? Did Dwight ask you to come? No. We had a little car crash. We've been wandering around looking for help. We just found this place totally by accident. Really? And you? What were you doing there, passed out? Hmm. I was supposed to meet Dwight here. But I can't remember anything else. Huh? Anyway, let's go inside and talk. I can't relax out here. I can't relax out here. I can't relax out here. What was that? God, how many how levels you know are there? We were a Zaka TV news team. Because that's a Zaka TV shirt. Yeah, she's Dwight got you there. Zaka TV, so I recognized it. Huh? By food. Dwight, do you mean Dwight Murdoch? Dwight yes, Murdoch. Yes, that's right. Do you know him? Of course I do. He and I go way back. He got hired at the same time, you see. He never told me he had such a cute girlfriend, though. My name's Nina. My name's nice Nina. Nice to meet you. The name's Briscoe. And what about you? I don't you have a name. You never put down that camera, do you? No, I don't, ma'am. That gets to be a habit with TV cameramen. But you probably know all about it. Yes, I do, actually. Dwight's the same way. So, why did you come here? Didn't you think you should evacuate? I heard the evacuation advisory after Dwight had already gone 18. out to cover the story. You're on he nine. He called me from where he was. He couldn't make it back to our apartment, so we agreed to meet halfway, here at this lodge. And so here I am. Why were you passed out? Did you get attacked? I don't know. Maybe. The question is, who attacked you? If he's hanging around here when everybody else is evacuating, he must be up to no good. Doing something he didn't want anybody to see. I can. And then you showed up. I bet he hit you over the head with a blunt instrument. So where is this guy now? He's probably still somewhere nearby. Oh shit. Calm down. There's nothing to worry about, Nina. It's just thunder. It's starting to rain. So you think this guy is near? Oh god, they But don't worry. We're here with you now. That's true. I wonder what's keeping Dwight though. That's cool. If you walk far away enough, you can't even like hear their conversation or even like get the subtitles for them anymore. Nope. No can do. The phone's not working. Damn. Damn. So we're cut off from the outside world, huh? By the way, Nina, she's not going to bang you. Did you come here by car? Yes. I left it in the parking lot. Okay, good. Here's what we'll do then. We'll wait for Dwight until it stops raining. 
If he doesn't show up by then, we'll take off in your car. It won't do us any good to hang around here. We can contact Dwight from the office anyway. Okay. That sounds reasonable. Until then, we should each take a room and relax and try to get our strength back. Oh no, there are only you two must rooms. Be tired too, <laughs> Nina. Cameraman, take a shower or something. Okay. Yes, all right. I guess I will. Time to get erotic. Wait, what the? What the fuck? Come on, that's not fair. Okay, here we go. What the? That's not what I wanted to do at all. That shower did me a world of good. That isn't what I wanted to do at all. Sounds like the rain stopped, too. I guess we'd better head out then. Well, yeah. I wanted to see them bang. Did you go get the car from the lot? Uh, sorry. But I want to rest a little bit more. I feel a little dizzy. I feel you a little right? dizzy. I'll be fine. Yeah, well, I, I didn't do it on purpose. Rest. I thought I was going That's into the all. bathroom. And then I just took a shit. Are Which, you sure? I mean... <laughs> yeah. You'd better hurry, though. Alright. Let's go. Okay. Huh? Did you hear something upstairs just now? Is somebody up there? Maybe. Let's go check. I will protect you. Oh god. <coughs> it's Dwight. Probably. No! Yeah, it's Dwight. Who could have done this? It's probably somewhere close by. We can't stay here any longer. You're right. I'll go get the car. Stop trying, stop trying to bang every single white chick. Yeah, I was. That's what I was planning on doing, but apparently, Zaka TV team log. <coughs> eight twenty-three, eight forty-three p.m. You might not Frisco wasn't feeling me, well, so. but I'm pretty good with a gun. As long as we have this, we can feel safe, huh? The campground's natural beauty almost made me forget about the horrible things Frisco's that happened. pretty calm about finding his co-worker dead, don't you think? Maybe he's a really cold guy. Or maybe he's just seen too much, and he's gotten numb to it all. But wait a minute. You don't suppose... Do you think Briscoe could be... Nah, he couldn't be. What am I thinking? I must be getting really tired to have a suspicion like that. Here it is. This is my car. Come on, get in. Let's get back to the lodge. Briscoe is waiting for us. To tell the truth, I still can't believe this is all happening. But... I guess that's the way it is. The bigger things are, the less real they actually seem. Almost like a video game, you know? I'm sorry. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I think I'm getting tired and confused. Look, here we are. Oh shit, Frisco! she's got a shotgun. Oh no, red means bad. Oh hey, food. Their bags from a popular fast food chain. Briscoe, do you still feel dizzy? No, I'm fine now. Let's head out. Whoa. 
was that? How do I keep? Come on, what the hell? Okay, do I shoot into its mouth? What the hell? Okay, well, I missed it. Well, sorry. I, I was trying to, but it, it just like keeps on moving around. It's weird. Okay, well, sorry. <laughs> sorry, black man, I killed another white woman you had the hots for. <laughs> oh, oh well. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I'm very, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> God damn, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> God. Oh man, who am I going to kill next? <laughs> Zaka TVT vlog. Eight twenty-three, nine forty-three p.m. We encountered a gigantic monster at the lodge. Hey, we're just about to arrive at headquarters. We never would have gotten this far without Nina. I'm really grateful to her. We arrived at the main headquarters of Zaka TV. I don't understand right how this here. could. Sorry. As the soon as we. The fog is thick here too. We might run into some monsters, so watch out. Oh, hey, Justine. Well, well, it's Frisco. So you're all right, huh? Yeah. A lot of stuff happened, but we're still alive. Good to see you're all right, too. How were things at home? Everyone's dead, Dave. The house was empty. Everybody must have escaped. But Jonesy wasn't there either. I'm worried. Wait, did he name the Jonesy? cat? Yeah, it's a cat. Our pet rabbit. Oh, fuck you. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I bet your family took him with them. So what about the chief? Did you already talk to her? The chief's a woman? No, I was just about to go and when you two showed up. Good timing. Now we can go in together. Okay, fine. I guess we might as well. Good. Okay, now. Okay, so like let's really let the chief have it this time. We've really got to let her know in no uncertain terms. The teams go through hell out there when we're covering the news. Especially this time. I know, I think this is way worse the than the government average. government issued an evacuation advisory, but she sent us out anyway. 
A lot of our colleagues have disappeared. Some of them are even dead. <coughs> like Pamela. <laughs> like Pamela. I'd like to make that damn chief go through the same thing poor Pamela went through. Okay, yeah, I... well, you know. Damn straight. Damn straight. And you know what else? She'd better make damn sure she doesn't go exposing any more of us employees to danger. Now, I think that's my fault, actually. And she'd better let the ones who are left evacuate. I'm gonna make her promise. She's already dead. You're dragging this out so. You, you get it all on tape, all right? Yeah. Okay. Sure. That's a pretty idea for you, Briscoe. If you get it on tape, even the chief can't try to worm her way out of it later. Well, that's weird. So, like, if I l don't look at them, the frame rate goes back. Wait, wait. Okay, good. Wait. Yikes! Monsters, pesky runts! Fire! Did she get it? Not bad, huh? Yeah, baby! You did it! Okay, good. Alright, Justine. Uh... Okay. Is over here. It's a filing cabinet. Contains many important looking documents. So the chief's <coughs> in there, huh? Look at the lap. God okay. damn it. Let's go in. Well, too All late right. now. Wait, no, come on. <sighs> okay, I don't have control. Wait, Excuse no. Me. Oh, damn it. I could have gone back. Roads? What's going on? What's this disturbance? And a camera, too. What's the meaning of this? We have something very special we'd like to discuss with you. Oh, you do, do you? And what might that be? Well, you see... Hey, what's the matter? Go ahead and tell her. Yes, well... Speak up now. It's like... It's your job to communicate, isn't it? Yes, you're right. It's like Come Pamela dies no, no matter what, right? I want to go out of my way to make the chief mad at me for. How come you're making me say it? You do it. Hey, hold on. I don't want the chief mad at me either. I'll do it. What are you two whispering about? You're a dumb bitch You're and we're leaving. Very rude, you know. Uh, all right. Fine. I'll say it then. Listen, chief. Hmm. Let's see. Your name was... Briscoe, wasn't it? Y y yes uh, that's right. Briscoe. Uh, gee. 
You know my name? Wow, I'm honored. You have a reputation for doing fine work out in the field. You're the number one candidate for this year's Flair Award. Uh, am I really? And of course, I've been thinking about a suitable promotion for you. Wow, uh, thank you very much, ma'am. Wait a minute. What happened to all that stuff you were saying? Oh, right, of course. Now, listen here, Chief. You deliberately ignored the government's evacuation advisory. You demanded that the news teams go out and cover stories. You unnecessarily put their lives in jeopardy. Oh my. I never demanded that the teams do anything. Just shut up and listen. And listen good, Chief. What the fuck was that? I, Jean Philip Briscoe. Say this as a representative of all Zaka TV news teams. We refuse to get kicked around anymore. My, my. This is fascinating. Do go on. So this is what you're gonna do, Chief. Find out what happened to every single news team member that disappeared. And make sure we all get safely evacuated. You're gonna do these things, and you're gonna do them right away. You got that? And you're gonna apologize to and compensate the families of the team members who died. I yeah, you to you're gonna do it, not me. <laughs> right here in front of this camera. There's no need for that. All those things have already been taken care of. Wait, what? Oh, they have? But, hey, wait just a minute. Show me you're taking this seriously. Don't delegate these things to your staff. I want you to take care of them personally. Briscoe, let me share something with you. She got some Five tickle hours bitties. from now, there'll be a military rescue transport at the airport. That's the military. Do you hear me? I negotiated for this with General Sanders personally, you see. In relation to Colonel? No. I hope you're beginning to understand. Oh, I see. A military transport, you say? Well, that's great. I guess somebody as important as you would have lots of high-level connections like that. Gee, I... Well... So, Briscoe, would you like to be on that transport? Well, sure. Of course. You want to get out of here? Yes. I'll do anything. Well... Then I have a little favor to ask. A favor, ma'am? What is it? One of our men is being held in detention in a certain place. Held in detention? What for? Please, don't ask. The man's name is Glenn Buckland, I believe. With the confusion of the evacuation advisory, I'm afraid he was left behind, still locked up. We just can't leave him there now, can we? I'd like you to go rescue him. Mm, okay. You want to make sure every single employee is all right. Isn't that what you said? Well, yes. Yes, of course. So, where is this guy being held? In a research room at the Von Erich Library. A research room at the library. Got Von it. Erich Library. We'll get him out of there. And as I'm sure you've realized, this could be a big scoop. You know, a dramatic rescue scene. 
Make sure you get it all on tape. And as for your report... Yes, ma'am. Your work hasn't been quite up to snuff lately. A news reporter has to be professional and accurate at all times, you know. Yes, of course. But I don't think... A bro never makes excuses for herself. Take the chance you're given and get it right. This next report will be your moment of truth. I'm gonna end up yes, killing her, aren't I? <laughs> I'll do the best job I possibly can. You do that. Very well. That will be all. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Excuse Thank you. us. Well, that was pretty disappointing, Briscoe. I don't know what happened. I couldn't help it. It was like I couldn't go against her, you know? Oh, yeah, that would have been erotic, wouldn't way? it be? Not especially. At this particular moment in time, she just happens to be my boss. So what? Who knows? In five years, our positions could be reversed. That sounds pretty hot, actually. Yeah, right. Man. You're really something. But never mind that. Let's get to that library. I want to show that woman what kind of report I can make when I put my mind to it. Sure! Okay, I guess this is stage 10 then, huh? Alright, let's see if I can keep Justine alive this time. Saka TV team log. Eight twenty-four. So they locked the poor guy up. That's going way too far. I wonder what for. It's simple. I bet he got fired. What are you talking about? That's right. I bet they were going to fire him or transfer him or something. Yeah. And then what? On the pretext of having him concentrate on gathering data without being disturbed, they shut him up in the library research room during his working hours. In other words, they were just waiting for him to get fed up with it and quit on his own. They do that kind of things to those useless guys that just take up space. You've seen the type, haven't you? That's outrageous! It That's outrageous. Helped. Different people have different levels of ability, right? But if we don't do a good job on this next report, the same thing might happen to us. Wouldn't want that to happen. Look, we're almost at the library. <laughs> Not even if there are monsters there or not. God. From now on. Three, two, one. Good evening, everyone. This is Justine Rhodes. I'm reporting to you now from in front of the Von Eric Library. Our news team has remained behind here in the city, still covered in a mysterious fog to bring you the news. Apparently, according to information we got just recently, there's a man still here at this library who's been shut up for several days in a research room and left behind. We are just about to go in and rescue him. So, like, does Pamela die no matter what? Like, there's no way for me to save Pamela, right? Because she died during, like, a real cutscene. We're now here inside the library. 
There's no sign of anybody around. The staff has probably all evacuated already. We're now going to try and find the research room where the man is reportedly being held. Okay, then fair enough then. So basically everyone else was on me though. There's something sandwiched between these books. Looks like a note. Zaka boy holds a camera, but apparently what he really wants to be is a report. Oh god. This is a checkout desk. This is where books would ordinarily be borrowed from the library. As you can see, there's no one here now. What does that have to do with anything? It's a note. Please contact them by Friday. It says, the note doesn't look like it'll be useful to you. Oh god, okay. There's a stepladder here. Looks like you could get books down from even the highest shelf with this. Okay, I'm like... I'm, I'm, I'm like on edge because like... As you can see, the library's interior is dim. The shelves are filled with row upon row of neat, orderly books. It's deadly quiet here. Here are stairs that lead to the basement. Let's go see what it looks like, shall we? Justine looks different. Usually, this library is a place where many people gather to read and do research. Today, however, it's empty. Shall I come to think of it? She looks a lot more like Carly now. Oh, Carly, what have I done? Red, huh? It's a large space. Wait. There don't appear to be any books in here. Okay. This room must be used for some other purpose. It's a catalog of all the books. I don't have the time to be checking this out, though. Well, then let me... Oh, God, I thought she was dead. It seems to be a terminal for looking up books. But is it working? Oh, yes, it's working. There's something on the screen. Is that porn? What could it be? Nope. That's not a book research terminal. It's a security camera monitor. Well, what a surprise. What appeared at first glance to be a research terminal was actually a surveillance system. It seems every room in the library can be observed right here on this monitor. Why don't we use it to look for... How to use the surveillance system. Left, uh, okay, up and down, switch cameras. Left, right, move camera view. Okay, zoom in, zoom out. Triangle, quit surveillance system. That's a strange way to arrange the shelves. So that looks like a three. Look, there's somebody there. There's a man in the small room at the back. Could this be the man that was locked in? He appears to be afraid of something. Look, there's something written on the wall. Thirteen, nine, three, eight, nine, seven, one, fourteen. Equals Michigan. C equals question mark. What's up with that clock? It only has an hour hand. Look, there's something there. It's, it's a key. really small. I can't see it very well. It's a key. Can you hear me? This is 
Justine Rhodes from Zaka TV. Can you hear me? Don't worry, we've come to get you out of there. If you can't hear me, please answer me. It's no use. I don't think he can hear me. It looks like it's electronically locked. God damn, she's like a bat out of hell. Did you see that shit? Oh, a stepladder. It must be for getting down books from up top. If I climb the stepladder, I'll see what's on top of the shelves. I found a key. I wonder what it goes to. Wait, what the? Every inch of the shelves is lined with the books. Okay, um, wait, where the hell does she? Oh boy. The old books on the shelves give off a faintly musty odor. It's a typical smell of libraries. I wonder what the second floor looks like. Let's go and see, shall we? Oh, ho. oh God. As you can see, the second floor also has book stacks. Many, many books fill the shelves. what this room's for. It seems to be a perfectly ordinary room. Uh, there's something written on the laptop there's a desk here. and a few other things here and there. There's definitely something written on the laptop here. Dear D, I can't believe what happened. <clears throat> I've been taking the whole thing a little too lightly. Now I don't know what to do. Your words of encouragement have somehow... Thank you from M. There seems to be some kind of note. It says, the answer to the equation. The date on the calendar, the arrangement of the bookshelves, the broken clock, uh, Oh God! Yes, monsters! Shoot up! I'm Shoot up! Why won't you let me? Come on, Is that all? Go. Oh, thank God, that was all of them, hey, I think. Wait! Yeah. Wait for me! Yeah, seriously, why are you running like this? Chill the fuck out, lady. Use the surveillance system again. 
Okay, yeah, I know how to use the surveillance system. I don't need the instructions again. And I don't want to skip because that apparently is what causes the game to freeze. And I really don't want to do that. So, okay. So. It says three plus nine is three. E equals, huh, so, pointing to nine. Okay. Hey, take a look at that. The way those bookshelves are set up. Doesn't it look like a number? Doesn't it look like a three? Yes, it does. I knew about the three. Okay, now where is the calendar then? Think of the date. Oh, it was like 824, right? I'm doing all right. Um, how are you doing, Shell? Okay, so let's see. Um... Equals okay, so C. Oh, so E is five. Okay, so E equals five. Um, God, what was the order of that stuff again? I'm glad to hear it. Okay, so let's. Okay, um, all right, you know what? Screw it. Just tell me what the password is. It's like 853, right? Or is it like 2435? Oh, wait, 359. So is it 88359, eight, or is it, what's the order here, honestly? Just 5839, okay, 5... Oh, thank God. Glenn, are you all right? <clears throat> I'm Justine Rose from Zaka TV. Oh, God, he's dead? I came to rescue you. He's dead. Ah! It was too late. He's been killed. Another monster, maybe? Look, over there. It's an air vent. A monster must have gotten in through there and attacked this guy. The worst has happened. A monster. It seems a monster found its way inside here. We at Zaka TV tried to get the door open as quickly as possible to rescue him. But unfortunately, when we arrived, he had already been killed in the horrible way you see here. The monster probably came in through that air vent, killed the man, and then vanished. Okay, he's clearly going to turn Our into a monster. <laughs> I think we'd better leave this place at once. Yeah, I agree with you. Let's get this the hell out of here. Justine Rhodes, reporting to you from the Von Eric Library. Okay, that was good. Of course. Even the chief can possibly find anything to complain about with that. She'll love it. I mean, you did let the oh, guy die. I bet she will. What with the gross. <laughs> fall. Hey, wait a minute. Is that this guy's notebook? We might as well film this while we're at it. August 23rd. I've been locked up here for three days now. 
Tomorrow, the 24th, is the day I'm supposed to go to Club Gachi. I've got to get out of here. I've got to meet with Dr. O'Connor, or my whole plan will be ruined. Hmm. I bet he was fired. Uh, probably There's not. something written under today's date. He was supposed to meet a Dr. O'Connor at Club Gochi today. Gochi? I wonder who this Dr. O'Connor is. How should I know? But I bet he knows the truth behind this mysterious fog and the monsters. So you want to go there? Of course. It's a big scoop. <sighs> Whew. Okay, that was close. Um... All right, where am I at now? Was that number 11 or was that number 10? Dari, I think that was number 10. So this next one's 11. Yeah, okay. And I think the latest I'll go will be to stage 12 then, and then I'll call it a night after that. Saka TV team log. Eight twenty-four, ten oh eight. Really fired up, aren't you, Justy? Of course. I'd love to get the scoop and see what the chief has to say about it. Besides... Besides what? I want to find out what kind of person is behind all this. Making all these mysterious things happen. Letting so many people die. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. Look, we're pulling up to Club Gochi now. Eight twenty four, ten sixteen AM. Three, two, one. Good evening, everyone. This is Justine Rhodes. Following up on our leads, our news team has been able to learn that Dr. O'Connor, a man who might know what's behind the tragedies that have been occurring here in Chicago, is here at Club Gochi. Just what kind of man is this Dr. O'Connor? And does he know the truth? These are questions that will hopefully soon be answered. As you can see, it is pitch black here inside Club Gochi. We can't see anything. Hey guys, what are we going to do? We can't film like this. Can we turn on the lights? Hold on, I'll flip the switch. Where is it? Oh, here it is. No good. It looks like the breaker is off. We'll turn it back on then. Where is this stupid breaker? How should I know? I can't look for it in this darkness. Well, what are we going to do? Hmm. Let's see. I think there was a junk shop in this neighborhood. Maybe we can find an infrared for the camera there. Junk shop, huh? Okay, let's go find this junk shop then. Get in, everybody. Or we could just find, like, some fucking flashlights. It'd probably be a lot easier. Fucking infrared unit, really? <clears throat> I've been to this junk shop before, when we were in the area doing a story. The owner was bragging they have everything under the sun there. Sounds like this guy likes to exaggerate a little, don't you think? Oh, come on. Don't say that. It's still worth checking the place out, right? Is that the place? Yeah, that's right. 
Do you really think they'll have an infrared unit for the camera there? We won't know until we go look. Okay, so... Let's see if I can keep her alive. It's kind of dirty in here. Oh god, I have... Uh, wait, what the... Yeah, take the guns! Look, Briscoe! With a powerful gun like one of these, we wouldn't have any trouble with monsters. Nah, forget it. Forget- FUCK YOU! Take What's the guns! The oh. They're just fakes. Oh. Fakes? But selling fake guns that look real is illegal. She's right. They're made in Japan. They smuggle them in. This is also true. They're computer tower cases. Huh? What was that? What are these? What are those? Antennas and tuners for radios. We don't need anything like that right now. I only bonked her because I'm hearing this like... They've got all kinds of stuff, huh? Some of it's even illegal. Sitting right out in plain sight. Nothing but monitors. Guess they carry a lot of audiovisual equipment. Hey, did you hear something just now? I did. Sounded like he keys. Must be imagining things, Briscoe. No, he didn't. They're car batteries. Oh god. Huh? Hmm. Must be imagining things. Wait, are you kidding me? Grab the fucking key! Over here. Okay, thank you. Uh, it's a key to some door. Door is warped and you'll never open it. No use, it won't open. It'd be nice if we could get into the storeroom. I'll try using that key I just picked up. Yuck, it's moldy and dusty. This is just gross. Oh God, um, guys. There be an infrared unit around here somewhere. Guys. Hey! Yikes! What the hell? something here it's a slip destination shakedown delivered video camera infrared units quantity three special wooden crates there is anything else in here doesn't look like it can be opened but maybe some kind of impact would do it there's nothing in it oh Isn't there anything good in here? Sorry. I think they're designer bags. Sorry. Sorry. 
Pesky runts! Oh, come on! I... That's not fair! I... Okay, good. Not bad, huh? Oh, God. I thought that was gonna kill her. Yeah, baby! You did it! <sighs> okay, so there are three crates. Um... Wait, what did I just... it yeah an infrared unit all we have to do is slap this on the camera and we'll be able to shoot in the dark now I can finally make my report <laughs> great that's it then yes let's hurry back to Club Gochi no, seriously, why was it harder to find an actual... Why was it harder to find flashlights? Okay, alright. Okay, I think this will be the last level for the night. <laughs> this is stressing me out. Let's see if I can keep Justine alive for one more. Zaka TV Team Log. 24. Does that infrared unit look like it's going to work? It should be fine. That's a relief. I'm glad it wasn't all just a waste of time. We're nearly there. Make this report a good one. All of my reports are good ones. Take a look around, viewers. Ordinarily overflowing with great crowds of young people. Club Gochi is now, as you can see, completely quiet. With the power turned off inside the building, we can't film right now with an ordinary camera. The images you are looking at now are being shot with an infrared camera. We will now use this infrared camera to locate and restore power to the building. After that, we will try to find and talk to the man named Dr. O'Connor. Okay. That was good. You conveyed a real sense of tension there. Great report. Thanks, Frisco. That was nice of you to say. Now then. It's pitch black beyond this point, so we won't be able to go with you. You've got the infrared, so you're the only one who will be able to see anything. Oh, he's talking to me. There should be a main power breaker somewhere in the building. You've got to find it, okay? Wait, I'm actually in All control you have for to once. Do is switch the breaker on, and that ought to restore power to the building. You better find that breaker first. Okay, fine. Thought this was the pathway to the breaker. Hot dogs. Armor hot dogs. Something, 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 hot dogs. Oh, something, hot dogs. Hey, you're filming me, aren't you? Wait, aren't I? I know you're there. Hey, are you there? Yes, I am. I'm right here. Hurry up and find that breaker. Okay, well, where the fuck is the door? Okay, hold on. Let's see. Um, I go up? Oh, no, I do not. Wait, what? Do I go up?
Something on the other side, but you can't see what from here. Okay, I see the girders now. Ah, here we go. I feel like I'm in one of those Popeye cartoons. What's that? Well, he's the only one who can see. It's not like there's some kind of it's not like there's some some manner of light that flashes. This must be the breaker. Okay, so I put down the camera. Wait, so I'm not the cameraman. I'm just the camera then. Okay, now we can see. Am I the camera or am I the cameraman? I can't really tell. Okay. The so. lights came on. Wait. Are they still talking? Come on back. Okay. Fine. Okay, they, they, they were literally just yelling at me to come on back now. All right, that's fine. Oh, wait. What's that? Oh, it's an ashtray. Tape in a place like this. Great find. You'd better pick it up. Okay, I didn't. Okay, I don't understand. Why can't I go back this way? Do I have to go back through the... God damn it. Okay, so how do I fight the boss then? Thank you. Now we can pick up the report again. Good job. Okay, here we go. 
Welcome back, viewers. Thanks to the efforts of our news team, we've managed to restore power to the building. We will now investigate the interior of Club Gochi. As you can see, Club Gochi is designed to look like a gigantic prison cell. Why? Entirely enclosed in steel bars, it's rather disconcerting to be inside. But these days, Club Gochi is a popular night spot with a hip young crowd. Oh god, where are you? Okay. <coughs> this is the entrance. It doesn't look like anybody will be getting carded today. This is the dance floor. Ordinarily, this floor would be pulsating with the vibrations of loud dance music. But as you can see, it's entirely silent now. Okay, but like this is a stage. There's only I can die from DJ. it, right? Let the reporter take care of opening doors. But like only I can die from the boss, right? The reporter take care of opening doors. Okay, fine. Um, where the hell did she go? Where, where are you? Oh. <coughs> okay, and uh, where does it send me back to if I die? This is the bar. As you can see, they have a large assortment of liquor, wine, and beer. Wait, the whole level? Jesus Christ. Oh, I don't like the looks of that. This is a control room. This is where they control the sound throughout the club by using this computerized system. Could that room be on the stage be the VIP room? <coughs> this is a VIP room. Only the chosen few are allowed to enter. Club Gochi's holiest ground, one could say. Could the man named Dr. O'Connor be inside this room? Dr. O'Connor, are you here? Whoa. Dr. O'Connor? He's here! You're Dr. O'Connor, aren't you? What's this? Who are you, people? You there, turn off that camera. I'm Justine Rhodes from Zaka TV. Dr. O'Connor, would you allow us to interview you? What in the world are you talking about? You're making absolutely no sense. Dr. O'Connor, we have reason to believe that you know what is behind this mysterious fog. What is 
causing the gruesome monster attacks all over Chicago. We want to hear the truth directly from you. I have no idea what you're talking about. Why on earth are you bothering me? This is completely outrageous. You were supposed to meet a man named Glenn Buckland here, weren't you? Huh? How did you know that? Did you talk to him? Why isn't Glenn here? He's dead. What? Glenn? He was killed by a monster. He was attacked in the basement of the library. We tried to save him, but... I see. And you want to know more about what killed him, is that it? So you do know something, don't you? I'll tell you about it then. The monster that killed him... Is me! Is the military. The government. And... Me. Zaka group. What are you trying to say? That the military, the government, and Zaka group are behind everything that's been going on? <laughs> Trying to use that brain of yours, are you? Zaka group is a huge enterprise made up of a parent company and some 1,300 subsidiaries. Did you ever stop to wonder how it got so big? What? Don't try to change the subject. D-N-A, that's how. You just don't listen, do you? Okay, okay, so what about this DNA? <laughs> I see TV turns even the brains of those who appear on it to mush. You must at least know that Zaka Group has a patent on its DNA manipulation technology. That's a good thing K.I. wasn't here to hear All that. All you can do is judge people on, on your outward appearance. That's sad. What? But I'm sure your tiny brain has never imagined what Zaka could do with that technology. That's a trouble with scientists. They never just come right out and say things. <laughs> Soon you humans won't be enjoying such super your attitudes anymore. Wait. Now you're just talking nonsense. Oh, he's the boss. There's definitely something wrong with you. Yep. All right, all right. Calm down, both of you. I'm sorry, Dr. O'Connor. Sorry. Why don't we all have a drink? We can talk again after we've had a chance to relax. Why do all of you turn to alcohol in every situation? I identify with this. Usually you hold yourselves in check. But then you use alcohol as a crutch and expect it to solve all of your problems. Isn't it all rather ridiculous? Besides, my body can't process alcohol anymore. In the end, no matter what I tell you, it's not like it'll save you from getting infected. What is this lunatic talking about? Oh, it's Resident Evil. You be quiet, Briscoe. Dr. O'Connor, what do you mean by infected? The virus. The virus? virus? What virus? This virus. Is your head an empty shell as well? The virus is <sighs> what's behind everything that's been going on here in the city. You've seen them, haven't you? The people being transformed. Now hold on one minute. Are you saying people are turning into monsters because of a virus? <laughs> now you're finally beginning to catch on. Biological weapons? What in the world could you be thinking? Making viruses on purpose? Why would anyone do that? 
Isn't it wonderful? It's the latest form of bioweapon. The enemies are infected by the virus, and they turn into monsters and start killing each other. Its beauty is in its efficiency. Wouldn't you agree? But I'm afraid this virus has been a failure. Those infected can't be controlled and their sense organs degenerate. They display excessive reactions to loud noises which attract them. And they just don't make good weapons. How did the virus get spread all over Chicago? I don't know. Come to think of it, a small unidentified plane crashed into Lake Michigan a week ago. Where the fuck did that come from? Do you think that could have been... Yes, it very well could have been. Don't tell me you don't have a way to stop the spread and development of this virus. This guy is completely bonkers. Of course there's a way. When making a virus, you obviously want to make a vaccine at the same time. <sighs> this vaccine prevents people from getting infected in the first place. Uh, for those who have already turned into monsters, the vaccine euthanizes them mercifully. If you have a vaccine like that, why don't you use it? The military carried off most of the vaccine. They took the lab animals, too. I think they said something about transporting everything by train. They promised joint research, but they stole it all without contributing a thing. That's why I just can't trust the military. This guy is insane! Hey! Give us that medicine! There's still time to save everybody! You know, he doesn't have the medicine. <laughs> why... Why do you humans always insist on remaining human? Yep, here we go. <laughs> What's the matter? <coughs> It looks like the symptoms of my infection are beginning to show. I... I... I have the vaccine right here. Then why don't you take it? I... I don't want it. It unfortunately can't be used in its current form. So what are we supposed to do? Die! Uh, <laughs> why? Why do you want to know? Okay, yeah, he's turning. Uh, you want to play hero? <laughs> Just tell us. What can we do? Uh, 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 the virus I created. It's now here! Inside my own body! It's wonderful! A new form of life! So beautiful! He's really starting to lose it! On camera. Yeah, I am. I'll make the report. Ah! Have a look at this, viewers. <coughs> the the virus turns people into monsters is turning into a monster himself. Why did this man create such a virus? And why is he allowing it to overpower his own body now? 
Could it be that the guilt he carries inside himself for his sins is making him do it? Hey! That's enough! Run already! Yeah, okay. Ah! Oh boy. God, I hope I can do this. Hey, we can get him with this. It won't quite be the merciful euthanization he mentioned, though. I, you could make him drink this. You could make him drink this. Okay, why is this not... Go to the control- wait, okay, so really already? Okay. Um, okay, this is the control room, isn't it? Or was that- which one is the control room? Okay, well, how do I turn on the music? I don't see any... anything to interact with. I thought you said I had to hit him, like, five times or something. You can't have had nearly enough to drink yet! Oh, I see. I, okay, I need to hit him five times or something. Okay, so... That was three. Okay, Damn, no. this guy has some bad drinking habits. Um, okay, that was something. Um, okay, that sure was. Okay, so I think we're just going to call it here for the night. Um, yeah. So, anyway, uh, this has been I'm Not a State, I'm a Monster. I've been Professor Icepick, and I'll uh, see you next time with uh, hopefully the rest of this. See you later.